Vince Lombardi said, once you learn to quit, it becomes a habit. But I don't quit. Well, you quit on doing a schedule. Does everybody have a schedule and follow it perfectly? Have you ever created a schedule and then stopped it? You quit. Anyone ever prospect every day, every week, every month, and then stop? And then had trouble getting back to it? You quit. This one I can relate to. Anyone ever go on a diet? <laughs> and that's it? I'm not eating another taco. <laughs> and then it's Tuesday tacos. It? <laughs> and you know what happens there. I, have to, I don't have to explain that one. You quit working on your scripts and dialogues. Now some of you have learned your scripts and dialogues to a base degree. And you do okay with it. It gets you by. It gets you by. Kinda. Sometimes. Maybe. But you stopped. You quit. You need to take this to the next level. The great agents, the superstar agents, are constantly working on their scripts and dialogues. Okay, not the basics anymore, because they've internalized that. They've got that. Now they're polishing it, and they're working on it, and they're polishing it, and they're working on it. But let me share something with you. Just like I've told you before, you cannot do trigonometry without knowing how to add and subtract. Do you get what I'm talking about here? You cannot go to advanced scripts without knowing base scripts. You can't go to trigonometry without knowing how to add and subtract. You, you can't do it. But everyone tries to go to the advanced script first. Okay, I challenge you. Go to trigonometry first. Okay, everybody, we're going to have a trig test. Get out your papers. <laughs> get out your slide rules because here we go. Well, maybe a couple of you would be okay with it because you've gone through the process and learned it. One set of learning skills gets on the next set of learning skills and compounds on the next set of learning skills and then compounds on the next set of learning skills. Work on your scripts and dialogues. I wrote down here, when you make the right choices, however small, when you make the right choices, however small, and you do it consistently over time, it can make a huge difference in your life. Gigantic. Example. How about the right choice of saving $100 a week since you were 20 years old? If you saved $100 a week, a lousy hundred bucks a week since you were 20 years old and you put it in the bank and over that period of time you got 2% interest on that lousy hundred bucks. Do the math. So when I was 20, that's 40 years ago. 50 times 40, that's 2,000 weeks. 2,000 weeks. So 2,000 weeks at 2,000 hundreds is $200,000, $20,000. Well, let's say it's $200,000 without interest, okay? Think about that. Now let me ask you guys, okay, I'm a little older than some, a little younger than others, but if you had an extra $200,000 today, would that be a little better or worse? But certainly not, I gotta tell you something. I have a couple dollars, but if I had another $200,000, it wouldn't be bad. <laughs> Honest, okay, in case anybody's curious, it'd be okay. Get what I'm talking about? See, that's the small choice that I could have made at 20 years old that would have made a big difference at 60 years old. How about having one extra taco. This is the result, okay? <laughs> this is one extra taco at every meal. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about there. How about getting up and doing your exercises every morning? So you got saving money, little bit of money. Having a little bit less food every day. A little bit more 
Exercise every day. Small choices daily over time make a big difference. How about talking to, okay, 50 people a day is way, 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 way too many for some of you. 30 people a day may be way, way, way too big for some of you. But what if you talk to 20 people a day, 200 days a year, that's 4,000 people a year. Everybody with me? 20 people a day. You, you actually talk to 20 people a day, you don't even know it, okay? Not intentionally, but unintentionally. 20 people a day to 4,000 people a year, and you did that for 10 years, you talked to 40,000 people. Would you list and sell some houses over that period of time? Yes. Absolutely. Small things over time. 